Hi kiddos. I hope you enjoyed watching the video um, of the mother and two kids teaching you about Leonardo da Vinci. Um, today I'm going to demonstrate how I am personally going to design my own invention. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get out the materials I need. I'm going to get a white piece of paper, a pencil, a sharpie, and if you, or you can use any black marker, and if you have art sticks or crayons, um, anything for coloring, if you want to add some color to your invention diagram when you're done. <clears throat> so today we are going to start off with the pencil, and I am going to start brainstorming. What are some things that I could invent um, that, or what are some things that I wish I could have taken care of for me, or uh, problems that I can solve by creating some kind of new invention. I want to definitely think about when I come up with an idea, think about whether or not the invention exists already. And if it exists, then it's not your invention, it's someone else's. Um, I'm going today to think of something that I have a problem that I want solved or something I don't really care to do that I wish something would do it for me. And when I was brainstorming, I was thinking about the fact that I forget to water my plants in my house all the time. So um, I decided I was going to design some kind of uh robot or machine that would water my plants for me and that would have a timer on it so it would know which days and what times it, the plant should be watered and maybe even something that will check the soil to see if it's um wet enough or if it needs more water so um what i'm going to start with is obviously i've got my a little potted plant here i'm going to make um a kind of a palm plant that I actually do own a palm plant and um, basically I am going to create a sketch or a drawing of this robot that I'm creating. So I've got my palm here and whatever other little plants I might have in my house. I could sketch more if I wanted to, but that's not really my focus drawing plants. My focus is designing and drawing um, my robot. So I'm gonna think about my robot. What would it look like? I think it's definitely going to have um, a little bit of height to it so it can reach the top of the pot. And I'm thinking I'm going to make it kind of a round or cylinder uh, shape. I know it's going to definitely need to be on some kind of wheels so it can roll across the floor and go uh, wherever it needs to go to water my plants in the house. Um, I think that it will have some kind of spout uh, that comes out where the water would come out. And I would also have um, a temperature gauge, uh, like a kind of a keypad where I can enter in the times. Um, that I want plants watered. And all the buttons that would be on it to put in that time frame. Um, I also think I will have some kind of testing stick um, that would come out and check the temperature or not the temperature, um, whether or not my um, soil is moist or not. You can see the water dripping out of the top there. Um, and obviously I can have something uh, like a window to the inside of this machine where you can see the water that's stored in it to see whether or not I need to add more water to the inside of it. So basically it could scoot across the floor 
<clears throat> and I got to come up with a fun name for this machine. And I did it in pencil first, just in case I want to erase anything on it later. And the kind of cool part is it's a cylinder. So if I wanted to, I could shade it the way we learned how to shade cylinders to make it look more three dimensional. Before we left school, we had learned how to shade cylinders at Lakewood and Wakazoo. And I think some of you um, in other schools have learned this with your art teachers possibly, but I can darken one edge of my cylinder to make it look more 3D if I want to. You don't have to do that, but it's something you can do. Darken the, the edge here. And I could definitely use a ruler if I wanted to get these straight edges or anything that I could use for a straight edge. And then boys and girls, I wanna kind of um, point out what the different items do. Um, hopefully I spelled this right, water spout. And, um, and maybe this part right here is my soil tester. Um, H2O, which means water, H water compartment. And this right here is my um, keypad and timer. And then I want to definitely come up with uh, a name for this machine. I'm kind of brainstorming. I guess I could call it the water machine. I could call it the plant, um, the plant um, survivor machine. Um, the let me think. The water memory. Um, I'm trying to think of some fun ideas here. What if I called it the plant saver. So now I'm going to make a little title for it up here. Plant saver. And if I wanted to, I could make it look like an advertisement, make a border around it if I wanted to. Maybe even think of how much it would cost. Maybe it's, uh, let's do $250 plus tax. And um, I could put created by Miss Tenbarge. Now, if you have time, after you've done create, you've done um, getting all of your diagram laid out, your whole plan for this plant saver, well, not your plant saver, this is my plant saver, whatever your invention is going to be, you can take a Sharpie if you want to and outline your invention and your full diagram. Maybe you just want to outline just your invention and not outline all the words. Maybe you have a thicker black marker and it's kind of hard to do the words and that's fine. Um, I did, I just thought about this. I probably need some kind of opening at the top where I can pour the water in. And as I'm drawing and outlining, I might come up with some other cool ideas to have on my plant saver. So boys and girls, have fun inventing and creating. Um, obviously, everyone's ideas are going to be outside the box, thinking outside the box, and everybody is going to come up with something fun and unique. Um, a great place to share these awesome ideas will be on our West Ottawa Elementary Art Instagram page called Woe L 
art. I'll put it right up here in the corner so you can see it. Wo L art and you can connect it to that page with hashtag wo L art. We'd love for you to share your inventions on there so we can see what all of you have created and I hope you have fun creating your invention. Take care kiddos. Bye.